Welcome to TechLogix. In today's video tutorial, we'll be diving into the world of air quality monitoring. We'll show you how to connect and read the sensor values of the Nova PM sensor SDS011 using an Arduino Uno. This powerful sensor allows us to detect particulate matter in the air, giving us insights into air quality. Whether you're a hobbyist or someone looking to understand environmental monitoring, this tutorial is perfect for you. So, let's get started and learn how to set up your Arduino and SDS-011 sensor for accurate air quality readings. The sensor package comes with the Nova PM sensor SDS-011, a high-precision laser PM 2.5 air quality detection sensor specifically designed to measure fine particulate matter in the air. This sensor is ideal for monitoring air quality in various environments such as homes, offices, and industrial settings, providing accurate measurements of PM2.5 and PM10. Along with the sensor, a USB serial adapter is included, which serves to power the sensor and facilitate data communication with a microcontroller, like an Arduino. For connecting the sensor to the Arduino, users can either utilize the cable provided with the USB serial adapter or opt for a 7-pin connector cable for a more streamlined approach. In this demonstration, we have used a separately purchased 7-pin connector cable to connect the sensor to the Arduino. Connection I utilized a double-sided PCB board, which provides a sturdy platform for soldering the header pins that mount the Arduino Uno securely in place. This setup ensures that the Arduino is firmly attached and reduces the chances of loose connections. Furthermore, I incorporated a terminal block onto the PCB, which offers a straightforward method for connecting the sensor to the Arduino. This terminal block allows for easy insertion and removal of wires, facilitating a hassle-free and reliable integration process. The wiring configuration for connecting the Nova PM sensor SDS-011 to the Arduino Uno is straightforward. In the Arduino code, we initialize the SDS-011 sensor by specifying the RX and TX pins, which are set to digital pin 2 and digital pin 3, respectively. Therefore, while setting up the connections on the double-sided PCB board, ensure that the RX pin of the SDS-011 is connected to digital pin 2 on the Arduino and the TX pin is connected to digital pin 3. The accompanying diagram will help guide you through the connections, ensuring a proper setup for effective communication between the sensor and the Arduino. The Nova PM sensor SDS-011 requires a 5-volt power supply to operate, which can be conveniently provided by the Arduino Uno. You can connect the sensor's 5-volt wire to the 5-volt power pin on the Arduino, along with connecting the sensor's GND wire to one of the GND pins on the Uno. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can connect the 5-volt power supply directly to the sensor. Note. This tutorial covers the basic connection and code needed to retrieve air quality values from the Nova PM sensor SDS-011 and display them in the Arduino IDE serial monitor. In future videos, we will explore more advanced integration techniques, including how to display this data on an LCD or LED screen, as well as on various platforms. Additionally, we will incorporate date and time functionalities to enhance the usability of the project, providing a comprehensive understanding of air quality monitoring. Connect the USB cable to the Arduino Uno, then plug the other end into your PC or laptop where the Arduino IDE is installed to upload the code. According to the video demonstration, once you connect the USB cable to your computer, the Uno will power up and supply power to the sensor as well. You will notice that the fan on the sensor is running, and the red LED will flash rapidly, indicating that the power connection has been established properly. To get started with uploading the code, open the Arduino IDE on your computer. Next, load the code provided in the downloadable link available in the video description. This code is specifically designed to work with the Nova PM sensor SDS-011 and requires the SDS-011 library to function properly. 
To install the library, navigate to the Library Manager by clicking on Sketch in the top menu. Then select Include Library and choose Manage Libraries. In the Library Manager window, type SDS011 into the search bar. Once you find the library, click on the Install button to add it to your Arduino IDE. Note, this code specifies using digital pins D2 and D3 for communication with the sensor's TX and RX pins. The connections should be made as follows. Connect the Arduino Uno's TX pin, D3, to the SDS011 sensor's RX pin, and connect the Uno's RX pin, D2, to the sensor's TX pin. This configuration allows for proper serial communication between the Arduino and the SDS011 sensor. Before uploading the code, ensure that you select the correct board and port in the Arduino IDE. Go to the Tools menu, then select Board and choose Arduino Uno. Next, navigate to Port and select the appropriate port that corresponds to your Arduino Uno. It might be labeled as COM3 or COM4 on Windows or slash dev slash tty. Usmodem on macOS. After confirming these settings, click the checkmark icon to compile the code and verify that there are no errors. Once compilation is successful, upload the code to the board by clicking the right arrow icon. This will transfer the code to your Arduino Uno, allowing it to begin monitoring air quality. Since this is a basic startup code designed to display sensor values on the serial monitor, make sure to open the serial monitor and set it to a baud rate of 9600 BPS. This configuration allows for real-time output through the serial monitor. The code retrieves sensor readings for PM2.5 and PM10 every 10 seconds, ensuring a consistent monitoring interval. If the readings are successful, the values will be printed to the serial monitor, enabling you to easily track air quality data, as demonstrated in the video. Follow our channel for updates and advanced options to display sensor values on different platforms. If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Your engagement helps us create valuable content. Thank you for your support.